Hey y'all, this is Marley K. Hope y'all are well. Got a topic that I want to talk to you about today. Something that I typically do not talk about. I have done um, quite a bit of research on this subject and I typically don't talk about it because it's almost like talking about outer space with most people. Um, one of the few people I could talk about it with was Watchman Nehemiah who helped me develop a Faraday cage. Um, and if you don't know what that is, uh, it's just something that protects your um, electronics in case there is an electromagnetic pulse or something that happens that um, destroys your technology. And I have some things that I want to protect that I'm going to use in the case of an emergency. And so um, he helped me think of some stuff that I had not thought of and develop a Faraday cage. And so um, it was an interesting process. I did it last year sometime, but I have those things put away and secured for in the event there is an emergency. And um, I want to talk to you all about doing something similar because I don't know what's coming up with these emergency tests, these national emergency broadcast tests that are going to be happening via our cell phone, via 5G technology. But there's a lot of, um, I don't know, if y'all watch some of these movies, it's just wild, especially the ones about the zombie apocalypse. Um, it just, it's, I don't know, it's just, it's time for something crazy to happen. <laughs> So I, I'm thinking in my mind about, you know, the the virus, how the, this particular virus is causing people to act crazy, um, turning into zombies. It's tied to um, the 5G technology, um, things that are dormant inside of our body, things that we have been consuming, whether you took a lollipop or not, we eat technology. We eat nanobots. Nanobots are everywhere. Nano, if you take medication, nanotechnology is in it. Um, if you eat meat, um, a lot of the technology um, is already in the food that we've long consumed and been absorbed in our bodies because farmers did not know that this the um, <clears throat> pharmaceutical companies had switched the... Um, old lollipops that they used to use with the new technology. And so a lot of um, farmers did not know that they were injecting their animals with the lollipop. And so we've been consuming lollipop shoot for about 10, 12 years. We didn't even know. In any event, allegedly, the stuff that's in the stuff is going to do stuff to us. And so we need to talk about the stuff and how to protect ourselves from you know, the stuff that's inside of us doing stuff to us that is not of the most high. Um, I share with you the patent that the computer guy who knows all things had on a certain technology and how that technology can be used to control our thoughts. And so allegedly some of this stuff that's inside of us could be activated by frequencies and waves and i want to talk to you about how to protect yourself from some of this stuff so bear with me while we go through this please do your own research and please make sure you follow up and start paying attention to your um to your um, EMF hygiene, because it's going to be really important moving forward. I know, um, you know, a lot of us are prayed up and we are in the spirit, uh, but a lot of us have some stuff in us that uh, ain't been worked out yet. And depending on what you're doing at the right time or the right day, you might be caught up. So. Um, as, as all of us are works in progress and we are waiting to be delivered from Babylon, we need to be on our P's and Q's, especially if you are true Israel, because we know that they are desiring to attack us. Because if we don't cry out, 
um, the adversary gets to continue to rule and reign a little longer and gathers more souls to take to uh, purgatory with him or the pits of hell or wherever you want to call it, eternal damnation. Wherever he going, he going to take more, as many people as he could take. And so we are not trying to go with him and we are trying to spread truth to eliminate that possibility. So we're going to talk about EMF and this site is called Educate EMF and they have all sorts of tools and resources and research where you can learn about the harm that this stuff is doing to us and understand how it is going to be used against us in this um, beast infrastructure when the system transitions, when all the chaos comes things going to happen, you know, it's all going to be like, oh, it's a surprise to everybody else. It's not going to be a surprise to us. And the reason I'm talking about it, because I don't know how long we're going to be here. I don't know when our exodus is coming, but we may have to endure some of this stuff. So, you know, the Bible talks about some of the things that we're going to see and how men's hearts will fail them um, because they're not going to be ready. I want us to be ready. And I am no people probably listening to this girl crazy. I ain't crazy. These people who are doing this stuff are crazy. All I'm doing is trying to help us endure to the end and navigate what's coming. So if you think I'm crazy, you can just hit the back button, get on out, cheer, unfollow me. This channel is not for you. If you are awakened, if you know who we are, if you understand the devices and the plans of the adversary, plural, um, then you know what time it is and you know why I'm talking about these particular things. But as we get closer to October the 4th and as we get closer to them attempting to declare a national emergency or um, do a national um, emergency declaration, for whatever reason they declare it, you know, we are public enemy number one. So we need to be proactive and understand that everything that could possibly be coming at us and understand the devices that we possess for whatever reason. It could be good, nefarious, whatever. But we need to understand what we have on our person and how those things will be used against us. Um, they were peddled to us as good in the beginning, but they are going to be turned into something that will become evil. And this is why I always talk to you about having to ditch your technology and live primitively because the day is coming where we're going to have to do that. You're going to have to make that choice. So let's get into this. So what I'm talking about is blocking radio waves. And as you can see, this picture has cell towers, clouds, the sun, and a house. And the reason that we're going to need to talk about blocking radio waves, because if these radio waves do what allegedly they're supposed to do, it is going to activate some things in people. And so, again, watch that movie Bird Box. There's another movie called The Signal. There are a couple of different movies out that you really need to go back and watch. And, um, you know, it basically tells you, I think it's the movie called The Cell. There's a couple of different movies out. Um, they're older, but they basically tell you the powers have told us what they're going to do. We just have not really paid attention. We thought it was sci-fi. We thought it was escapism. No, these people were telling you years in advance what they were planning. And so a lot of us have forgotten or didn't really pay it any attention. Now we need to go back and, and watch because now we see the um, plans of the powers coming into formation and they're really close to transitioning us into this new system. A lot of people think it's going to be 2025. Uh -uh, it's not. You see how they're burning up stuff and setting stuff, um, uh, making stuff uh, blow up and trains derail. You see all the um, energy weapons being used that's being disclosed, the uh, um, alien agenda, the calls for 
um, um, you know, climate energies from the beast over there in Rome. There's a lot of stuff happening and nobody's hiding anything anymore. So we really need to be aware. We need to be awake and we need to be keeping watch. So this is just, you know, um, some proactive measures that we can take to ensure that we are not caught up or ensnared. Now, while this may help you in your house, it ain't going to help you with, you know, your family members who won't listen and it won't help you with the people who are outside trying to eat your face off. I don't have nothing to do with that. We're just talking about protecting ourselves from the waves and activating anything that is inside of us that is dormant. All right, let's get into this. So it says how to block radio waves in your house. So this article is from 2020. Um, and there are all types of things that you can buy if you if you look at this site. I like it because it um just talks to you about different things that we typically think about, especially us in the black community. We tend to not give a crap about our health. Um, and it's very unfortunate because the powers have um, the powers have taken advantage of that over and over and over and over and over again. So here we are. So it says, consider the pervasiveness of radio waves in our modern society. Unless you live in the middle of nowhere, you probably have no problem um, you know, tuning in your favorite AM or FM radio station, whether you're in your backyard, in your car, or in your home. So it's obvious that radio waves can travel long distances through the air, and they can easily pass through a variety of solid and liquid substances. Considering that the sheer number of radio waves that emanate from commercial radio stations, as well as countless applications for radio communications in the private and governmental sectors, avoiding radio waves entirely is a problematic, if not impossible, proposition. But why should you care? The uses and dangers of electromagnetic waves. A term from classical physics Electromagnetic waves encompass the different energy frequencies within the electromagnetic spectrum. All electromagnetic waves propagate through space. Most have been harnessed by science in order to facilitate a diverse array of useful functions. Herein lies our problem. This is why we have to even have this discussion because scientists, which are primarily atheists, which are primar primarily working for the Satanist, <laughs> have harnessed these frequencies and turned what God made for good into evil. So this is what we're dealing with, in short. Radio, wi radio waves occupy only a small, I'm sorry, small, only a narrow segment of an electromagnetic spectrum. But it includes common sources like microwaves, infrared and ultraviolet light, X-rays, and gamma rays. Like all electromagnetic waves, radio waves produce electromagnetic fields, carry um, EMF, and carry electromagnetic radiant energy or electromagnetic radiation. So we're going to be talking about EMFs and EM EMRs, the radiation. Radio waves and cancer. Over the years, EMF electromagnetic radiation have been implicated in a range of medical diseases and disorders, in addition to the wealth of anecdotal evidence that links electromagnetic waves with a variety of health problems. A number of peer-reviewed clinical studies have echoed many of these claims. And as you can see here, it talks about the Apple Watch EMF radiation guide. So, you know, a lot of this stuff um, that they're putting out is bad for us, but they don't tell you about it. They just sell it to you as the next thing. It's going to make you look good. It's going to be flashy. You're going to be important. You're going to be able to access stuff fast. You don't need your phone, but you're just walking around with cancer on your body. All right. And so as, one thing I want, wanted to show you is do you see how this this 
thing is, this um, picture, all this stuff is modeled like the photographs um, posted on the U and the N's website for the sustainable goals. You know, this, you remember that? In the Web 3.0 um, video that I did and I showed you the picture of how they have all these different things are going to be connected. It's the same type of model. So pay attention to the modeling of these types of things because, you know, they they correlate. They have a connection. We just don't think of it in that way. All right. So it says one of the diseases most commonly associated with electromagnetic waves is cancer based on an increased risk from the malignant brain cancer known as glioma which has established connections with wireless phone use. The International Agency for Research on Cancer of the organization that makes the owl sound officially classified radio frequency electromagnetic fields as possibly carcinogenic to humans in 2011. Yet, we have more cell phone towers than ever, especially in black and brown communities. And more than ever went up when we were locked down. So keep that in mind. Big old, these everywhere you see a big old cell tower, that's electromagnetic frequencies. That means those people in those communities have, will have an increased um, chance of uh, getting cancer because of those frequencies and waves and radiation. So it says the comprehensive review article Health Implications of Electromagnetic Fields, Mechanisms of Action, and Research Needs in the Scholarly Journal Advances in Biology backed up this official classification, drawing upon a number of studies that have established associations between EMF exposure and increased incidence of cancerous tumors. One of the most widely accepted and supported of these studies have drawn strong links between postnatal EMF exposure and occurrences of childhood leukemia. So young children are developing childhood leukemia because they are being exposed to these electromagnetic frequencies. Um, and it could you know, be because parents are using their devices around the babies when the babies are not you know fully developed it could be their homes are located um, in close proximity to cell towers or it could be where parents um, allow their children to use these devices really early which is really bad i don't know why people let their little children use cell phones i mean i know why because they're babysitters but it's really bad in the long term Radio waves and electromagnetic hypersensitivity, and this is a problem that I have. So the article also cites clinical research into the phenomenon of electromagnetic hypersensitivity. EHS is a condition in individuals who are particularly sensitive to EMF. Documented symptoms of ill health in many guises have been observed among clinical subjects complaining of EHS. Among its potential negative health impacts, EMF exposure has been tied to cytotoxic and genotoxic effects. This cytotoxic toxicity and genotoxicity can lead to alterations in DNA and micronuclei generation that is widely considered to instigate carcinogenesis. 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 I'm sorry. So. Um, this exposure can um, destroy your DNA, and these people know this. So this is this is why I'm talking about it. Because at the end of the day, y'all know everything is about DNA. They gotta destroy us, and this is why I'm talking to our people, um, black African American black people in particular. That's why we got all these cell towers in our communities. That is why everybody got a cell phone. That's why they need you to have free Obama phone. That's why they need you to have free tablets that have um, high speed internet access. It is all about exposing us to bad stuff. That's the gist of it. And so this is why it is not good for you to have 
the latest technology. This is why it is not good for you to have the fastest internet service. This is why it is terrible for you to have an Apple anything. It was created by the adversary himself. So, um, you know, I don't know. You do your own research on it, but. You know, it's, it's out there. Nobody's hiding anything now. You better try to look at it while the Internet is still not Web 3.0. But the point is this stuff is causing men to be sterile. It is causing women to be sterile and for, um, you know, just all sorts of issues. People are having um, cancers that grow at astronomical rates. And they're dying a lot faster because we're exposed to more of these um, electromagnetic frequencies and nobody's really talking about it. Um, and that's that's the goal. So it says studies have also tied EMF exposure to negative effects on the endocrine, cardiovascular and nervous system. So when you sleep in a bed with your phone, that is bad. Um, additionally, exposure affects various auditory, ocular sleep and reproductive functions and so i have issues um, with auditory i can hear stuff especially at night so i have to sleep with ear stuff in my ear i put stuff in my ears at night and um i like to sleep with the lamp on but because it i can only get led light bulbs now it's really difficult for me to sleep um because of the um, rays that um, you know bounce from the from these lights. Also, uh, if you have a lot of uh, power cords or things plugged up in your room, you have a lot of dirty energy. And if you use an EMF detector, you will be able to detect high rates of things in your room. So it's like really good to do good um, EMF hygiene, especially in your sleeping spot. Um, but it's, it's just difficult for us to be able to do it. I, you know, and I work from home, I work in front of a computer all the time. So it's really difficult. So it says materials that block the radio waves. And that's, that's what I want to talk about because this again is tied back to October the 4th. And if they have to do, a the other test date, I think it may be October 11th, it's a week later. Um, you need to know how to block these waves. This test is gonna be done during the day. So wherever you are, you need to be figuring out how you're going to, on that particular day, at that particular time, deal with the fact that you will be exposed to these waves. And I don't know for how long, You know, it's just a lot of stuff gonna be happening. So it says, depending on where you live, eliminating all radio waves from the inside of your home may prove quite difficult. But the good news is you can build your house and include many common materials like aluminum foils within your house to help block radio waves. Um, so it says aluminum foil works as an effective EMF block blocker. And I know a lot of people who have cell phones um, who use um, aluminum foil to wrap them up. And I used to think they were crazy, but now I understand there are a lot of people who are sensitive to those um, waves. And so that stops those waves from doing something to their bodies if they, if it, if they feel um, those waves doing something to their frequency. In fact, you can stop radio waves by absorbing them with dielectrics otherwise known as insulators and reflecting or otherwise diverting them with electrical conductors. And so I have some tape um, that I ordered that's copper that I use as a conductor to um, block waves when I need to. I don't do it all the time, but I do have a Faraday cage, as I said. So I use that tape and I will be using it on October the 4th, hint, hint. Taken together, dielectrics and conductors are the two types of matter that have a significant effect on electromagnetic waves. So if you're trying to stop the things from inside of you being activated, this is what you need to do on that day, okay? 
I'm not saying wrap yourself up in tinfoil hat and put on aluminum foil and <laughs> you're going to have to do something different. So you start researching now what you're going to buy to counter any of that because a lot of people are not going to be doing anything. Reflecting radio waves with dielectrics. So although dielectrics will allow radio waves to pass through them, they reflect and absorb a tremendous amount of their power. When a moving radio wave comes in contact with dielectric material, the material retains some amount of the power of the wave, transforming the power into and dispersing it through heat energy. So you see this little wall. So it says an exceptional dielectric surface is a silvered mirror, which, according to Hughes Research Laboratories Director Demetrius Adrian Popa, reflects approximately 95% of radio power and absorbs approximately 5% of radio power. Conversely, while some radiation radio radiation bounces off clear glass window, most will travel straight through. Other examples of dielectric substances include wood, ceramic, paper, plastic, and Teflon. In addition to these solid materials, pure liquid water also makes an exceptional dielectric. But take caution because they often allow large amounts of electromagnetic radiation to pass through them. Dielectrics must be relatively thick and have a significant impact. Therefore, the effects of a single sheet of paper or a light coating of water will not protect anyone from a radio wave. Reflecting radio waves with conductors. Dielectrics, which are primarily non-metallic conductors, are exclusively metals. So you see this good old box of Reynolds wrap aluminum foil. So it says examples of outstanding conductors include copper, aluminum, and gold. So it says although conductors capture the vast majority of electromagnetic radiation that they come in contact with, they can work wonders when it comes to diverting this radiation and keeping it out keeping it out of the inside of your home. Best of all, conductive materials do not necessarily require the thickness that dielectric insulation requires in order to be effective, as Scientific American points out. Thin amounts of plastic wrap, wax paper, cotton, and rubber are not likely to interfere with radio waves. So that means they will not protect you from radio waves. However, aluminum foil and other electrically conducive metals such as copper can reflect and absorb the radio waves and uh, consequently interfere with their transmission. And so that's what you want to protect you, you know, from getting into your body. So I, I recommend like getting you a Faraday cage. I know this is not um, conducive for everybody because people have to work outside of the home. Maybe you have to um, work uh, and you have, you're required to carry a cell phone. Maybe uh, the phone is a um, means of business for you. So you do business by your phone. So if you're using a mobile phone on that day, you will have to find alternatives, but they do have alternatives. They have Faraday cases. They have pouches that you can keep your phone in. Um, they have uh, these little little copper little circles that you can put on the inside of your phone on your SIM card. Just a lot of stuff that you can do, but you really have to be proactive and you have to do it for more than just your cell phone. You need to do it for your wireless router. And if you if you can, you know, you're not home, I recommend taking it down. Um, on that day, uh, and I don't know how 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 long they're going to do the test. I know they're going to do the the test where you get an alert, but you won't know if they continue to use that same use the signal, the invisible signal, not the sound, because you don't get a sound on your phone. But there will be a 
something coming from the uh, cell towers, waves. And um, and not just cell towers, other towers too, like the, um, I don't know what they call those, radio towers, radio signals, you know, stuff that, that transmits signals on that day could be used um, to do harm to us, just say that. So it says radio wave proof in your home. In short, depending on the thickness and composition of the material in and around your home, you can successfully block or at least interfere with radio waves. By surrounding your interior spaces with the right substances in the right uh, proportions, you can significantly mitigate your overall exposure to electromagnetic radiation. So that is what we are trying to um, do here. And I want to um, share with you one more piece before I end. I'm not going to do the Apple, but check out this site. And also... Um, just do your own research on this subject. It's really interesting, but you see at the end of the day, it is all tied to trans and what is coming with this beast infrastructure, the AI, the introduction of all these different technologies, the, um, what do they call that stupid thing that Mark Zuckerberg uh, created? The metaverse, all that foolery, all of that. <laughs> it's all tied together. So again, these things are being tested on us on a regular basis. And so we need to be proactive on protecting ourselves from these types of things, especially true Israel, because if we get caught up and um, are not doing what we're supposed to do on our end, keep and watch, then they take us out. If they take us out, it ain't enough of us to cry out. We need to be worshiping and crying out so that we can get out of here and so that they can get um, they're just desserts. So, okay. So here it says top ways to protect yourself from 5G radiation. And so this article came out on um, 2022, in 2022. So it says, as of 2022, Verizon has fixed and mobile 5G all over the country. AT&T has mobile 5G in thousands of cities. Um, T-Mobile and Sprint also has 5G available in thousands of locations. If you live in a city, the small cell antennas are all around. Since 5G includes high millimeter waves, they don't travel as easily through buildings. So 5G deploys the use of millions of these small cell antennas. Next Lamp post, utility post across the country will be used to house the small cell antennas, which means radiation next to homes, schools, office buildings, shopping centers, everywhere 24 seven. And so that's what all these, you remember they were putting up all these purple lights and everybody's like, what's that? So that, that's what that's what this stuff is. It's, it's, you know, I was telling you about these smart cities and how they're gonna have all this stuff connected. This is an extension of that um, and, and it will, it will be controlling us. It's going to tell on us, but it's also going to be control, controlling those of us who have certain things inside of our bodies. So it says this article will answer what is 5G, the dangers of 5G EMF and how to protect yourself from 5G EMF radiation. So what is 5G? Is Wondering if 5G is near you now. So it says, you know, it, it has links in here where you can go to check stuff, I'm not gonna go into those. So it says 5G is the fifth generation of wireless technology. And notice everything is fifth generation, fifth generation warfare. It's, everything is fifth generation. So, you, you know, when you start looking at this stuff, it, the fifth G, uh, I'm sorry, 5G is fifth generation. And it's tied to more than just this technology. It's tied to a lot of different things. You got to start connecting the dots with this wording. So it says 5G is the fifth generation of wireless technology. It's the next after 2G, 3G, and 4G. It is touted as the technology that will provide higher and faster transmission capacity. That's what they sell it as anyway. 
This means 5G will hugely increase the millimeter wave and microwave radiation in the environment. Additionally, it will use frequencies that have not been declared safe by independent research not associated with the wireless networks. As mentioned, 5G includes higher millimeter waves. They will not travel as easily through buildings. So 5G will deploy the use of millions of small cell antennas. And so that is why we got all these cameras that are wireless. That's why you got wireless trash can that can tell you when the trash is full. That's why you got these purple lights and they're sticking them everywhere uh, so that they can uh, be used as a, a, a small antenna. Uh, cities are creating these small little antennas going into and going out of cities so that, you know, these towers can reach and achieve everything that they're trying to do. They're basically, you know, overseers in addition to um, making us all puppets. Um, the takeaway, though, is that they're not safe. And so this is why you should not really be using 5G. And I've like, I really try not to use it. It's hard not to use it because it's everywhere. But if you cannot use it, you should not use it. There's a lower frequency Internet. You should opt for the slower, um, lower frequency. So it says 5G is different from previous generations in several ways, including frequencies, data transfer and bandwidth needs bandwidth needs so they have a table here so it says this video from IEEE spectrum provides a nice overview of the 5g technology if you prefer video format so I'm gonna save that for y'all but it's a really good um, demonstration of how this stuff is gonna work especially in these smart cities different frequencies previous networks operated on frequencies up to 6 gigahertz 5G is the first network to operate on high bands. The U.S. Federal Commission, Communications Commission has approved up to 300 gigahertz frequencies. However, as of July 2022, the FCC has sent auction frequencies higher than 47 gigahertz bands or two. And that's because if they go higher, like people already been saying, what's going to happen? The airplane's going to be dropping out of the sky. They're just not ready for it. Um, so the C-band spectrum is included in mid-band frequencies, which offer coverage and capacity. Nothing above 5G has been used before in mass communication. High-band 5G is what most people are concerned about since it uses much faster frequencies called millimeter waves. As electromagnetic frequencies increase, their wavelengths decrease. This means that high band 5G waves are much shorter. Within millimeter waves, there is a high propagation loss. Like a rock dropped in a pond, the waves are the strongest right where the rock hits the water. As the waves ripple out, the waves decrease in intensity. Data transfer. Not only do 5G waves travel shorter distances, but they also have a harder time penetrating materials like wood, concrete, and trees. In other words, these 5G waves have a difficult time in dense urban areas. To deal with this problem, the 5G network makes use of many small towers within close distances of each other. Beam forming. Beam forming technology is used to make sure the small tower signals reach your devices. This is why we's in trouble, y'all, right here. Beam forming is a technology used in wireless communications to direct a signal toward a specific receiving device. Using multiple antennas, a beam forming system can send a signal directly to the receiving device, even if the device is moving. This makes the signal stronger and more reliable. So this is why, you know, when you drive in and you can still use your phone, this is why, you know, you're in a park and you can just have a bunch of little antennas now. 
Um, they've given out all this money to these cities to put this crap everywhere. And so now it don't matter where you go. You can always have free, fast internet. And then, you know, the <coughs> was used so that people who couldn't afford internet at home or people who lived in rural areas could now get internet because they took and stuck it everywhere. You know, you can go to McDonald's and get free internet. The cable company was giving out free internet. They were making hot spots where people could just drive up and get internet. So we just got, we just connected all the time. You don't never have to be disconnected. Just keep your device and always be occupied with stuff to do. Bandwidth needs. Devices need to catch up with the current technology. So that's why you got to get new cell phones and watches. 5G is marketed as up to 100 times faster than previous technologies. Still, it requires more bandwidth to operate at the high speeds. Not all devices are capable of this level bandwidth. And listen to this. This is why I will not upgrade. As of 2022, most new cell phones do offer 5G capability. You can research, I'm sorry, you can search on the mobile device carrier site for 5G capable phones, which I strongly recommend you should not have. But I'm not a doctor. I ain't nobody. I'm just a person who wears a tinfoil hat. 5G hugely increases the millimeter wave and microwave radiation in the environment. But they ain't talking about this. This is the climate change you need to be worried about, but nobody talking about it. In a scientific paper, three published in 2017 by the Department of Electrical Engineering at Georgia Southern University, a massive increase in radiation was observed. Our results show that 5G downlink RF fields generate significantly higher power density and, sig and specific absorption rate than a current cellular system. Thus, when a larger phased antenna is used and when a user moves closer to the AP, the PD value or the power density value becomes a major health concern, which inevitably requires more research about health effects of 5G before it is deployed successfully by strictly following the RF emissions standards. So they're telling you they ain't test this stuff out but they're going to put it out anyway, everywhere. It's already out. It's in your house. You got 5G. It's in your house. You have unsafe internet. You got a 5G phone. It's unsafe. Everything is safe. It ain't 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 safe. Okay. Many papers like this one from independent researchers not funded by the wireless industry. So that's important show many harmful effects and hazards to the average person. The organization Physicians for Safe Tech Technology lists the risk from 5G to include damage to the eyes, cataracts, retina, immune system disruption. So if you have issues with your immune system, using 5G technology is a disservice to your body. Metabolic disruption. So your body is not able to metabolize things, medicines, vitamins, whatever, because this 5G technology is destroying your system. So depending on where you live and the type of Internet you have in your home and if you use your device on a regular basis or if you keep it with you or um, you like to sit and scroll, you could be doing harm to your body. Damage to sperm. Men, y'all like to keep these phones close to your pocket in your pockets. Keep them out of your pockets. Get you a Faraday cage. Get you a Faraday case. Skin damage. Keep the phones off of your body. Don't put them on your person. Collapse of insect populations, the base of food for birds and bats. So, you know, one of the things that they have shown a little bit, but not a whole lot, is that when they hit these switches, things just drop dead immediately. And so when they do that in a, a particular area, um, you know, animals lose out if the animals don't perish themselves. Rise in bacterial resistance and bacterial shifts on skin and in ecosystems. So you think about why we're always sick because this stuff 
is killing all of the things that we need to fight off these different bacteria, as well as activating things inside of us that are potentially bad. And this is says damage to plants and trees, which, you know, it's bad for the environment, right? It's, a, it's hurting, hurting the climate, right? Right. No, it's not. We doing, we doing it. Eating cows and cow farts. You don't eat hamburger. Cow farts and farming. That's bad, but not 5G. The harmful effects of 5G to the human body were studied by the European Parliament, Parliamentary Research Service. They released their study in 2021 with the following conclusion. The literature contains no adequate studies that would rule out the risk that tumors and adverse effects on reproduction and development may occur upon exposure to 5G MMW or to exclude the possibility of some uh, synergistic interactions between 5G and other frequencies that are already being used. This makes the introduction of 5G fraught with uncertainty, concerning both health issues and forecasting and or monitoring the actual exposure of the population. These gaps in knowledge justify the call for a moratorium on MMW of 5G and pending completion of adequate research. So as you can see, folks are waving the red flag. So it says further, the International Agency on Research on Cancer for Research on Cancer, part of the world organization that make the owl sound, almost said it, works to find causes of cancer. I don't believe them, but anyway, this must be before, you know, they got to play devil's advocate. So I guess it could be accurate. In 2011, they classified RF EMF radiation as a group to be possible human carcinogen so they do this but then they don't do nothing about it so i'm just perplexed anyway ultimately scientists and physicians are calling for more research on the health risk caused by this new millimeter wave technology before we blanket the country with small cellular towers which is too late okay so they have a list of products that you can purchase here. They have a, a router guard cover, which I strongly recommend. I'm going to buy one. A smart meter guard cover. A, they have underwear and t-shirts. Uh, uh, this says three different types of EMF radiation. Um, oh, it's a, a measure. So this first thing is a measure. And then it says 11 ways you can protect yourself from uh, 5G radiation. I'm just going to read through them right quick, but I will also put a link to this in the description so that you can read it for yourself. Um, increase distance and decrease duration. Uh, distance yourself from a 5G tower. Disable 5G on your devices. Um Use an EMF protection cell phone case. Be mindful in dense urban areas. If you live in a big city, you really should be mindful because they have small antennas everywhere already. Reduce your overall EMF exposure. Uh, use airplane mode. Create a healthy home, which is what I need to work on. Um, Avoid using your cell phone in weak signal areas. EMF protection clothing. Smart meters. You might already have a smart meter and not even know it. Me and, me and um, Watchman Nehemiah were talking about this. Um, I was here um, one day and somebody was just digging on the side of the house. So I just went outside and I was like, hey, can I help you? And he was like, I'm changing out your meter, I'm putting a smart meter in. I was told to do it. So you have a smart meter, you may not even know you have a smart meter. But smart meters are used by utility companies to bill you for the correct amount of energy usage, water, or natural gas you have used in a particular month. 
Until recently, utility and power companies had to send their staff to individual homes every month to physically read the old analog meters. Not now, thanks to smart meters, but they emit the same radio frequency radiation as Wi-Fi devices, cell towers, and cell phones. And that is where my bedroom is, so I'm getting that probably. Um, so it's hazardous. But they do sell covers that you can use um, to prevent the transmission of the um, frequencies into your house. And the other one, it says, turn off electronic devices when not in use. So a straightforward and free way to reduce the radiation levels you're exposed to is to simply turn off a device when it's not in use. All right. So anywho, this article has resources and references, and they are there are links in the article for you to click on so that you can purchase things that they mention Um to make sure that you're doing good hygiene when it comes to this EMF stuff. So with that said, this is prep for October the 4th and anytime after y'all need to be doing EMF hygiene because we don't know what is going to happen. We don't know why they're doing all this stuff, but we want to be prepared for the zombie apocalypse and any other uh, foolery that they have planned for us. We are keeping watch and we will not fall to any other enemy's traps if we can help it. Knowing it's after battle. So with that said, keep praying, keep prepping, keep seeking the most high. Continue to pray for the awakening. Pray that our brothers and sisters wake up to what is coming. Pray that whatever they are planning for us does not work. No weapons formed against us shall prosper. Lastly, please like this video, share it, and subscribe to the channel. Hit that bell notification so that when I upload new content, you can be notified. Get you some aluminum foil and not that cheap kind out of the Dollar Tree. Get the good kind, the heavy duty kind. Spend the money and wrap your stuff up and practice doing it. Order you some copper tape from online. They sell it on Amazon. They sell it in um, the big box retail stores. If you can, go to the little Ace Hardware. Go to your little local um, place first before you go to the big box retailers. Um, support uh, small business and shop small when possible. And um, subscribe to my Rumble and Odyssey channels. Links are in the description. Also, my social media platforms, they are also noted in the description. Any event that I get booted from the YouTube, you can still follow me in other places. All my videos on YouTube can be found on Odyssey in the event that this channel is taken down. Um, right now, I have one strike. But I never know when I'm going to get another one. So I don't know if this is one of the topics that they may boot me for. But hey, it is what it is. The truth is the truth. And the truth shall set us free. So with that said, y'all, take care. Do your EMF hygiene. Do your own research on this subject. Do your own research about plans for October the 4th. Um, there's a lot of stuff. People are waking up. People are talking. And I'm so glad that people are out here not letting these plans go and folks not knowing anything about it. So if you are unaware of what's going on, it's because you want to be ignorant and you are not seeking out information. You are essentially uh, walking dead. Hopefully I don't have any walking dead on my channel, but um Stay awake, people. Lots of things are happening. A lot of distractions are out here. Um, but do not be distracted. Do not become complacent. Do not go to sleep. That is what they want us to do. Go to sleep. All right. This is Marley Kay. And I'm out.